Um, just wanted to hop on here before I head down to the arena for tonight's game versus the Capitals. Uh, I think game one was obviously not the showing that anyone wanted to see from the Panthers. Uh, it was not an expected result, but I think um, that there were some positives to be taken from that game. I think Bob's strength and net was pretty impressive. And if that's the level that he's playing at for the rest of the playoffs, I feel very confident in Bob as the starting goaltender. Um, I think, you know, it's not like he let in some crap shot goals. I, I, a power play and a couple breakaways um, would be hard for any goaltender in this situation to uh, defend. So I, I think it's good that he's starting tonight. Um, and from practice and the post-game media, the message I'm getting from the team is that, you know, they want to take game one as a learning lesson, but they're not shaken up and their mentality is the same as it's been all season. Uh, they hadn't faced much adversity until this game. So I, th other than, you know, the coaching change and a couple injuries. Um, but I think this was a good wake up call for them. And around the league, we've seen those teams that got embarrassed game one came back with a vengeance last night, you know, the wilds, the bolts, uh, it, it's, I wouldn't be surprised if your Florida Panthers do that at home, they love playing at home, they feed off the energy. Um, so those are good things to look towards. Um, and it's a seven game series, potentially, it's the best of four. So I know with the way that things typically go here in South Florida, um, a lot of the fans are getting a little bit nervous. Um, and no one wants to see what happened last year in the playoffs where the Panthers had to claw back from an 0-2 start. Uh, but I really think that we're going to see a very different team out on the ice. And last game, a lot of guys were in the right spots to get things done. They just weren't following through. So um, with Bob and Nett, I, I have a lot of confidence on the defensive end of things. Aaron Ekblad, this is his first game back. Um, he played great for the amount of time that he missed. And I think Mackenzie Weger, you know, he has a very aggressive style of play and you're going to get, you know, some mistakes there, but from this team through and through, no one puts more pressure on them than themselves. So I would not be surprised if he came out and had one of the best games that we've seen from him in a while. Um, and our offense just needs to get their scoring chances um, more controlled and tighter puck management. And I think it's going to be a pretty good game. Uh, so I will update you from the arena, but thanks for tuning in.